Hi, this is Hector, and today we're going to take a deep dive into the world of Color Draw. We're going to do a little bit of advanced features, but we're going to also look into how you can get into a little bit of trouble because sometimes it just doesn't work. Kind of like this, but that's okay because I'm going to show you how to fix it. Now, if you're new to Color Draw, there's just a couple things you got to remember. One is, is when you make your outline like that, make sure that there's no gaps. Kind of like this. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And the other thing is pretty obvious when you tap on color, you choose something and you drop it. Just make sure it's inside the outline. Now, here's a tip. This is something that I like to do a lot. And let me just kind of move this around just a little bit like this and bring that down and go up to the top of the camera. And I'm just going to just zoom out. There you go. I really like pulling out these color modules because when you're color dropping, it's just so much easier just to grab something from here and then just drop it in kind of like that. I think it helps you stay focused. And if you go to maybe here and uh, choose color this way, you can kind of get a little bit more experimental and just start dropping in colors you might not have thought of using. And that's why I like dragging this one out because you can really do all kinds of cool stuff. And I can also use my left hand too, just to choose color. And um, I can drop with my right. Now, if you color with swatches, this is gonna be really cool for you because this, since it moves around, you can just take it with you. Now, in my case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, just drop a little color in this outline right there. That's the body of the bird. So all I gotta do is just tap here and I can go up here and just drag it over like this. Make sure you tap on continue filling or I can just go ahead and just go here and then just drag it in like that. That works just as well. Now the next part I'm going to do is this wing right here. So I'm just going to grab this darker version of that color and just drop it in and the tail. Let's go with maybe something like uh, this and just go there tap there and we're good to go let's go ahead and just get that beak as well so it's going to just drag this color over and drop it in just like that so next is the eyes let's tap on white there we go let's go to brush and i like using monoline that's found under calligraphy so size well i doesn't really matter i'll go ahead and just go 21 percent's fine Opacity 100. And now I'm just going to go ahead and just make these really big eyes. Maybe something like this. Okay. Now I'm just going to do a color drop. So I'll just do it from up here. Just drop it in like that. So why did this happen? Because our threshold is too high. So let's do a two finger tap. And we're going to adjust that threshold. So we're going to bring it in. And we're going to move it to the left. Threshold gets smaller. Let's do it again. Threshold gets smaller. Let's do it again. Threshold is getting even smaller, but somewhere around right here. So let's go ahead and just leave it at 25%. That's good. So now let's get black. Tap there. And same brush. And the eyes, I'm going to do something like this and same idea. I'm just going to just drag some color and drop it like that. Now you see what happened? Now we have these frosty edges. How do we fix that? Same way. We play with that threshold. So a two finger tap. Let's go ahead and just drag some color in. Don't let go until it perfectly fills Looks like we need just one more little nudge over to the right. Kind of like right there. That should do it. Okay. So what do we learn here? Well, we can overspill and we can underspill. But either way, we can fix it with threshold. All right, so let's go ahead and just grab some color here and then just drop it in. That's our grass. Let's go up here and that is going to be our tree. So... Let's do, tell you what, let me tap that back. 
Let me go back to color here. Just go something just a little darker, maybe something like that. Now, because I use this module, I have to drop from up here. So there you go. Tap on continue filling. And I can go ahead and just keep tapping here. Now, just go back and let's start playing with these leaves a little bit. Let's go back to our palette and let's choose this green. Drop it there and tap there and tap there. Let's go ahead and just get this yellow for the sun. And before we're just doing color drop. So now what we're doing is we're doing a color tap. There we go. We have our clouds here. Let's choose white. And then we tap here. And there you go. Okay, you're probably wondering, you know, didn't have to color drop everything, right? No, I didn't really have to, but I just wanted to just demonstrate color dropping, you know, for the whole thing. So you can kind of get a vibe of what I'm doing. And yeah, everything was in one layer. Sometimes that's not the best thing to do, but there's other ways of doing this. But I just kind of thought I'd just show you the advantages and demo color drop. But remember when I said that all you needed was an outline and no gaps, and you just drop it in. That's all you had to do. Well, you can also color drop on shapes. For example, the sun. Let's choose something kind of orangey like that. And let's just drop it on the sun and check it out. Boom only goes on the sun. That's super cool. But can we do that with the bird? Let's go to color and choose something kind of blue, maybe something like that. And drop it there. Slide to the left. We're playing with a threshold. There you go. So we kind of can. So that's kind of a cool thing. But I kind of like it better, kind of lighter, like that. What about those shadows and highlights? Can we do that on one layer? Yeah, we can. All we got to do is just tap on layer, tap on alpha lock. And let's go up to the top. Selection tool. Tap that once. Freehand's good. Color fill. If it's not chosen, choose it. And uh, let's go ahead and start drawing in the shadow. Boom. Like here. And maybe just uh, something over here too. And here too. And at the bottom like this. And what else? Maybe just something like right here. Like that. Now let's go to Feather. Tap there and let's just bump that up just a little bit to maybe something like that. And that looks good. So let's go with that. So let's take off color fill. There we go. And now let's go to adjustments icon. Next, we're going to go to hue, saturation, and brightness. And we're going to dial down the brightness to maybe something around right there. All right, tap on that selection tool and we commit to changes. So we're loving that. And now we're going to go up to the top just a little bit and do some highlights the exact same way. We're going to go to selection tool and we can turn on color fills. That way we can kind of monitor our feathering. So we go with something like that. And here, maybe just a sliver, not much like that. And maybe here where the sun is just a little bit. There we go. And on this side, a little sliver there, a little sliver there. So now let's go to feather. Tap there, and we're going to dial in the feathering to maybe somewhere around there. That looks good. And tap on color fill, tap it once more. Color goes away. Let's go to the adjustments icon and go to HSB, hue, saturation, brightness. Tap there. And now we're going to dial in the brightness. Not too much, just a little bit. Maybe something like that. Tap on the selection tool. We accept the changes. That's looking good. And there you go. Added a lot of interest to the flats. And if we wanted to, we could go to layers, layer three. And we get a different color for the background if we want to. So let's go kind of a gold color. So maybe something like that. 
brush. Oh, let's see, airbrushing, soft brush is good. Size, a big size. And then we can just add just a little bit of that yellow just in there, just like that. And there you go. We just added just a little bit of interest to the flats just by using that selection tool. Anyway, I hope you like this. And if you do, please like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. As always, thanks for hanging out. Gotta go. Bye.